We wanted to show you what it's like to live a life on board. We get questions and people want to know a lot, so we thought this would be a good way to show you what life is like here. In the last week, we've had a lot of storms. The rain is not bad at all. We stay warm and dry inside, but the wind is definitely the harder thing. It's a lot louder with the rigging and everyone's boats surrounding us, with the rigging hitting their masts. We work to have the heat inside. We do not have a heater, but we have really good Patagonia clothing and an incredible blanket that keeps us warm. When we have to get out of bed, we'll make tea and trap the heat inside and make it a lot warmer for us to get ready in. This is how we stay warm in the mornings, because it's 41 degrees today. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that looks sweet. It's the sunrise. Usually we watch the sunrise, but today we're trapping in all the heat. I'll show you. Sunrises are my favorite. The colors that slide through the windows, and I get to be up early before everyone else. The boat is all to myself. It's too hot. My tongue. From our morning tea, Jeremy will use the leftover water to do his hair instead. We use every drop of water wisely here on the boat. People think we can't cook the same. I typically like to make a smoothie and yogurt for breakfast. And when I'm done, I save water in the dishwashing process by using salt water to rinse the dish. I scrub and do a final rinse with fresh water. We use biodegradable soap as the water will flush into the ocean. Jeremy likes to eat overnight oats for breakfast. So late like always. So that pump out the Guy's gonna poop her pants. <laughs> We head into work each morning together. After a storm, Jeremy uses our one-way pump to get all the water out of our dinghy. This is definitely an upgrade for us as we've been using a plastic cup before. We close the door for the day, but we won't usually lock up. The dinghy ride is one of our favorite parts though. Kai always gets way too excited in the morning, and she'll try to jump in. She's even fallen in one time as well. I can't. Once we get to the dock, we head out to the public lot where our cars are. This lot is free and has 24-hour spots. I love the sunsets, and I always have. Here on the boat, it's incredible, because as the sun drops down below the horizon, the wind goes quieter, the water calms, and you'll hear the boats clinging loudly on their masts. The sea lions will come out to hunt for one last time and the seagulls will start to return home. It reminds me to be still as I end my day. Do you know how it feels to travel non-stop? To live in a train with no to... Every night and every morning. Just ended. They play the national anthem at 8 a.m. And then they play the trumpets to say it's um sunset. So it's kind of fun to keep track by that. But it's a little weird. <laughs> it's got our new sail cover. It got ripped in the wind, so we needed to get it patched up to protect our sail. And they did an awesome job. They even made this giant patch here. So hopefully this lasts us a little while longer. Why do we leave the comforts of a home, a warm house? For this and it's views like this but I'm like well duh the other night we got back from saying goodbye to our friends who moved back to Holland and there was a pot of dolphins swimming around our boat which was a lot of fun so it's things like that why this is a uh, Jeremy's way of getting the lines to be quiet he pulls them away from the mast and our boat's always the quietest in the house so everything's still kind of in storm mode, but we'll put it all back.
this guy over here. His mask snapped in the wind. There it goes. Tonight, making some vegetable stir fry kind of stuff. Oh yeah, this is our uh, lovely goat pillow. We need to give him a name. Our friends Marika and Koi gave it to us before they moved away. Like a lot of power, and then we didn't have a lot of power. Power life. We love the weekends because we rest. We sit in the sun, we'll take the boat out for a sail. We just take it easy. I like to read and play my guitar for a while as well. well I don't mind to slow down anymore. This is what I do to entertain don't myself. No. <laughs> You know what we What are we gonna do today, Jeremy? Have to get you have to get dressed. You're not gonna get. <laughs> You're really selling this boat, Libby. It's like van life, glamorous. <laughs> so cool. I'm gonna get my closet. And then I'll never have to face my nights alone. This used to just navigate stuff. Now it's my clothes. We finally got to fix our refrigerator this week. Nothing was wrong with it. We just needed to seal it back in for a clean finish. Before this, the wires were hanging out, and you had to be careful not to shock yourself when you plug something in. And that is how it's supposed to be. Now, and that much I can see. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice. Sun is shining. We're back to sunny, warm weekend. I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shell. And how rare it is that I stay up past twelve. So this is our dream step. Let's have your boat. This is our when we moved out. We got over. Putting away all of our crap. So we shoved it in boxes. And on my face, I feel you breathe. Give me some problems. And I. And that is how big chocolate. Now, and that much I can see. Now. They don't love us, we don't need sea lions have not been visiting as much with the cold weather, but when the sun came out, we got this little visitor. Where is he, Kai? We haven't seen friends in a while. Oh, there he is. Go over there. Goodbye, sea lions. We do our chores each weekend. Groceries, laundry at the laundromat, then hanging them on the clothesline, and then dumping the black tank. Fresh tanks, fresh water, fresh haircuts. Don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor anymore, anymore. I don't boycott speaking up. Ooh! Onions are burning my eyes. Seasoning. <laughs> you don't want to what? <laughs> I don't want to eat it. Need your creation. It's like dishwater. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Compare. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Eggplant. Everyone's favorite. So yeah, you could make good food on the boat. I can't make food. <laughs> I couldn't make food in a real kitchen either though. What do I make really well? Egg toast? Peanut butter toast? <laughs> Anything where you put, put something on bread? <laughs> I make really good peanut butter and jellies. Oh, pita pizzas. That's a fave. Class fave. 
Now we're gonna have raviolis. It's not really enough for both of us. I'll eat, I'll just eat the eggplant. Oh, sick, you can't eat that. Bird visitor. He just scared the crap out of me. Probably gonna poop on our paddle board. This big guy visited us this week as well. Kai will make sure to scare them away for us, which is good because he leaves some pretty big poops. <laughs> this boat was named Winging It when we got it. We think there's not a better name for a boat for us. Thanks for watching.